Jace Tunnel here with the Mission Aransas National Western Research Reserve, University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Today, we're gonna to be talking to you about the giant land crab, also called the blue crab. And I'm gonna be real careful with this thing because these things, these things can bite. Check out how big this thing is. Huge. <clears throat> now, why would we be seeing this on the beach? Well, these can actually be found not only in Texas, but they can be found in South Florida, Bermuda, you know, kind of the warm climate areas. And they come down to the water to be able to release their, their eggs, the females do. So for the most part, these are living uh, down in the ground, about five feet down in the ground. <laughs> Let me pick them up here so you can see them. And, uh, and they never live more than five miles away from the coast. So you always find them in coastal areas. Uh, there's not, there's, you know, it's pretty rare to be able to see these things. I don't see them that often. I probably see two or three a year uh, because for the most part, they stay in their burrows and they go down to their burrows enough to where uh, or the depth is uh, to where they can get down to where there's some water. So, uh, they have to have moisture. Ooh, so these things, what do they eat? Uh, these things eat, they're primarily vegetarians. So they'll eat soft leaves, seeds, flowers, things like that. Every once in a while, you'll see them eating insects, small insects and things like that, but primarily they're vegetarians. Uh, people do eat these, and so they are protected. If you're like in Florida, I think you can only get like one of these um, per year during the season between like November and June. Whenever the female brings down the eggs, they actually have 300,000 to 700,000 eggs whenever they spawn. That is amazing. And they, they spawn them out into the water. And why is that cool? They, they, they spawn out here. Well, and why do they have so many? Well, they have so many because very few of these actually survive and make it to adulthood. And so the ocean currents carry them around till they get to another beach. Um, and it takes about a month for these eggs to turn into uh, looking like little crabs. And then the life cycle starts all over again. Okay, so now I'm done talking about these. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.